Hello YouTube fans and family. I appreciate you being here and thank you for clicking on my video. This is Darlene and I will be doing your Twin Flame reading in just a second. I am using the Arcana deck and also the Lightseer deck. This will be the deck for the Divine Feminine and this will be the de deck for the Divine Masculine. So let me make a little room up here in case I need it. Okay. I hope everybody is doing well. I will be shuffling here and getting these decks ready and getting ready for the holidays, um, whatever those look like for you. I am almost ready myself, thankfully. I've got some gifts to wrap, but I think I have everything bought, so that's good. Also, guys, um, if you're not familiar, I my, my primary actually started out anyway on this channel type of readings. Thank you are for deceased loved ones so if that is something that might interest you please click on that playlist and see if there's something there that speaks to you and i'm also doing scorpio readings as well right now now i'm just taking a second to listen to this deck <clears throat> okay we'll leave it there thank you let me see what has come out i'll lay these out and i won't really speak about these until i get the cards laid out so bear with me one second. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling now for the Divine Masculine. I am just getting started here on YouTube, so if you guys watch these videos and click on them, say like, you know, that say you hit the like button or make a comment, any of that really does help my channel to grow and also helps these messages get out to more people. So. Thank you for all of those who do that. I'm very grateful. And lastly, when I reach 1,000 subscribers, which is I'm only 20 away from that, I will be doing a live reading. And if you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell, you will get notified when I go live. So just wanted you to know that. And we are almost ready. Just letting these few last cards come out. And then, of course, I may clarify if I need to as we're going on here. Also, I guess I will mention, too, um, you know, there, everybody comes in and out of the Twin Flame journey cycle at different times. So, uh, you might want to go back and check the other readings because if this one doesn't resonate with you, perhaps a previous one will because something else might have been going on differently then that yeah, that's where you are in your timeline. Woo, okay, thank you. Yep, okay, I thought that was more than one card, but it's not. All right, now let me uh, take a look here at your Divine Masculine. I usually like to start with him. And as a reminder, there's no gender in tarot. If I say he or she, it's because that's probably what's on the card. <clears throat> and uh, if I speak of Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine in the reading, that is the energy. It has nothing to do with gender, so just be aware of that. We can all embody either at different times in our life, frankly. Well, right off the bat, it feels like your Divine Masculine is afraid of the end either the end of this relationship, the end of a cycle. I see there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of things that are unspoken, unsaid, that he feels, um, I don't know, just feel like there's unfinished business here, but yet this means an end. Now these cards, if you'll notice, I have no reversals because these decks, I don't do reversals. So I may come back and clarify this in a minute. <clears throat> but I'm inclined to think that he, th thinks this is an ending. Perhaps he has caused an ending himself. I know and I'm just kind of going back to my previous couple of readings. <clears throat> and he's very much up in his head about it. Uh, you know, Eight of Swords is a mental prison. It's also, it's, it's restriction, but it's self-imposed restriction. I think he's taking a time out. I, I get the feeling you're probably not speaking here because I'm looking over here at your cards and I don't, yeah, I just, we'll, I'll come back to that in a minute. <clears throat> but it feels like he is uh, not talking. He's taking his time. He's going within. He's, um, 
you know, this card can mean meditation, um, isolation. It can be a number of things, but it, it essentially means I'm by myself and I'm thinking about things. And now the high priestess can be things that are unseen, but it also means uh, intuition, plain and simple. It's, it can be that your divine masculine here is trying to listen to his intuition about what he perceives to be a happy home, happy family. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is is everything that brings you happiness. The kids are playing here, and mom and pop got plenty of money in the bank and a nice house, and, you know, it's just the perfect scene. <clears throat> and so it, it looks to me like he's really contemplating what that is for him. And... This card tells me whatever he's going through, he very much would like to move to calmer waters. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking real quick because as you know, if you've been here, most of my, this is surface energy on the top of the deck. And then when I turn the deck over, that's where the little bit deeper energy is for me. I kind of wish I'd used the reversal decks now, um, but that's me. That's just me because it looks like there's, I feel like there's a truth that's been revealed here. Somebody's moving on, your, we're talking about your divine masculine here, is, is trying to move on from a truth that was revealed about some kind of a beginning and offer or, or somebody extended something to somebody. <clears throat> It's, I'm getting this back and forth energy is what I'm feeling. And I remember feeling this. This came up in the last reading too, or reading before last. I feel like I want to go. No, I don't, but I'm afraid to. But I want to go, but I don't, but I'm afraid to. That kind of energy. And I'm looking at these cards. And these should, these should be real positive cards. But I, that's not really what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, yeah, I'm walking. I'm walking with this pinnacle in my hand. I'm walking toward making an offer. But I'm just going to sit down here for a little while and I'll count the blades of grass and I'll look at the sun and I'll see what kind of animals I can see in the clouds and I'm just going to sit here and maybe I'll go get a snack later. And, you know, he's just, I don't feel, even though he's walking in this car, I do not feel movement. <clears throat> he's thinking about his stability, though. This king is typically married. Now, I say this every reading, but so you know, I typically see kings and queens in, in the cards as people. So now I have two kings, if you'll notice. Now, if your person is dealing with someone else, <clears throat> let's, for example, and I know some of you are, <coughs> pardon me, this could represent that person, even though it's not a queen. If they've got heavy masculine dominant energy, that could be, um, that could mean this person is moving on from from that person to bring an offer, but he's going, oh, so slow to bring stability. And and there's a lot of remorse around this, a lot of um, looking back and I wish it woulda, shoulda, coulda. And it's cause, causing or has caused a tower moment. But there's an epiphany, an, an, an awake, not an awakening, not technically, but, but it feels that that's the energy I'm feeling, like a holy crap moment, okay? That this, okay, now I've got two kings and a queen. You know, this queen, and, and it bears mentioning the king and queen of pentacles are typical, I mean, excuse me, not queen of pentacles, swords, the king and Queen of Swords are typically a divorced couple, whereas the King of Pentacles is solid and he is usually coupled in a relationship or married. So that is an interesting sidebar to this. So I, you know, I don't, again, I don't know what gender this is, but I'm seeing three people here <clears throat> in this situation. And there's a King and a Queen, which tells me there has been some truth spoken. There's, um, Again, probably about this separation, divorce, whatever with these two, if that's what this has been, because 
uh, somebody's looking out, making plans, making a choice, or needs to make a choice regarding love, or has made a choice regarding love. They're going what, toward what they feel passionate about, um, hoping that the wheel of fortune will turn in their favor. But it's been a hard, long journey for them. Uh, this is the wounded warrior. It, it's something that maybe they're fighting for a relationship that they should have given up on a long time ago. I, I don't know where they, I don't know if I've ever said that in any reading, so that's interesting that that came out. Um, and now I've got two kings. King of Wands, you know, he's a king of action and passion and, you know, he's good looking and, you know, he, he turns heads when he walks in the room. And there's patience required here. There's a lot of patience. So it could be, I'm wondering now with all these people, I mean, it's just a lot of people in the mix over here on this side for your Divine Masculine. I mean, I just, I'm going to cut the deck. Let me see. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, he's learning. The, the, all these people, these characters here, are causing your person to have reflection, and he is learning some, I think, life lesson here that has to do with this ending. Now, let me come over here and look at you, because you're also, you're making plans, you're looking out, you're trying to decide what direction you want to go in. <clears throat> You maybe have a choice. I see you, and I, I swear I'm not making this up. Y'all go back and look at the previous reading. I'm pretty sure from a different deck, the Queen of Pentacles came up in this exact same position. Yep, I'm pretty sure it did. And I interpret this to be you. You are solid. You're dependable. You care about everybody around you. You're committed. You know, you're that queen. And I think maybe you feel like well, this can be, it's typically known as the victory card, the Six of Wands, but it can also be fame and recognition. It could be, maybe you're coming into your own, maybe because this situation over here has ended or you've decided to put an end to it, you're coming into your fame. Once you walk away from this energy that's holding you back, the Wheel of Fortune starts to turn for you in in a good way <clears throat> and you can start to find balance in your life I'm, it just looks that simple to me now you've got the moon at the bottom of your deck and they had it as their first card out I've never gotten this this off of uh, a moon card before but um, it you know, every deck speaks to you differently, and depending on what's going on, it speaks to you differently. i got to move this. It's getting my way. I'm afraid I'm going to knock this off. To me, I look, I see this, here, let me, I see this woman here, and she's kind of got her eyes, because she looks very pensive and reflective. This has an energy almost to me like the Hermit card. She's looking at things that she, um, that, they're, that are unseen behind the scenes, you know, things that, and I see this, this sphere has, it looks almost like clouds or some gaseous something back there. I, I'm feeling like that energy is like a mix of thinking and feeling, and she's kind of reflecting back on, and now this, I don't even know what this is in this card, I can't quite make it out what this is supposed to be, but I'm reflecting back to the card that looks is the, um, well, it's different deck, but this card, the Six of Swords, which is a boat in the water, and, and the, the whole point of me sharing that is it feels to me like you are reflecting on all the things that were hidden from you, that were, were unseen, that have triggered your emotions and made you overthink this, this relationship, and all you want now is to move on to calmer waters and find some peace in your life. And and find, okay, here we go, and either two, two energies here, and find your king, a king of pentacles, someone who will be, who will match you, and be reliable, and dependable, and who will not be afraid to commit to you, and give you all that you desire, and need, and deserve, so I think here, now, they've got the high priestess over here, and you have the high priestess, 
but I feel a completely different energy off of this high priestess. She is so focused. She is going within. She's receiving uh, downloads, wisdom, inspiration from the divine. And she's being very quiet about it. She's listening to her intuition and just being very quiet and keeping that to herself because she, meaning you, the divine feminine here, you you are planting this to me and, and I, I want to bring in, I don't want to get off topic, but you know, law of attraction is a real thing. If you haven't given yourself that gift, go and learn about that because that's the energy I'm getting off of this. She now knows who she is and what she deserves and she's going within and focusing on the inner, meaning the focusing on law of attraction, planting the seeds in the energy field, law of attraction, to bring what she wants and what she perceives as her happy ending, her nine of cups, her wishes being fulfilled. She's putting this conflict behind her. And we go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Yep. Her happiness, her ha happy home, family. She knows this is where she's going. She's confident and knows where she's going. The Ten of Wands, this has been a heavy, heavy burden, a uh, long journey. Every one of those wands is a battle that she's fought, meaning you, the Divine Feminine, that you fought. But the Ten of Wands is the end of the journey. You're putting those down. You are holding... Holding back now, I think you're holding back from your divine masculine because you don't want to be hurt anymore. You don't want, you know, this person has not been giving to you as you think you are worthy of. <clears throat> and you're protecting yourself. And, and that's good. We want to be, oh, what's the word I'm, I'm looking for? Um, picky's not the word, but we want to be selective. That's the word on who we share ourselves with, whether that's your heart or your money or any of that. So I think you're just guarded because of what you've been through back here. And you're healing. You're taking time out to heal and you're gathering your strength. And as soon as you feel the strength, and I do feel that's coming, I think you're really on the verge of it. I think 2024 for you guys is gonna be a different, whole different ball game. You're going to take movement. You're going to this is the fastest card in the tarot. So you're getting ready to shoot yourself out of a cannon is what I'm feeling like. And you're going to come into some, yeah, look here. You're going to be collaborating. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, <laughs> I do have a king of wands here and look at this. So I don't have a card here of collaboration. I mean, excuse me, reconciliation. But this could be somebody new that very this could be somebody new coming into your life that you're going to fall in love with it's going to fall in love with you and that's going to be the justice for you from this situation with your divine masculine who has not been stepping up and who has not been um giving you what many of you need all right well let me see is there anything else i did want to ask I want to see what this world card is, Spirit. Please clarify this world card on the Divine Masculine, please. Please clarify this world card on the Divine Masculine. Let's see what this... Yep, thank you, they're real okay. All right, well, that's two cards about... Well, well almost, I started to say endings, Ace of Cups, yes. This is the end of a cycle. Now, it doesn't have to mean the end of a relationship, but it can, but it can. It just means the end of a difficult cycle, a difficult cycle with something that was toxic. But in the reverse, this to me means being released from that or, you know, if your person has been in a, in a difficult relationship on their side, because they, I'll say again, many of you have gone through that, still are, this is, um, these people taking the, and it's in the upright, you can see they have chains around the neck, but they could just reach up and take those chains off. So this is about restriction, addictions, and so forth. So it could also be that maybe your person is dealing literally with an addiction and they're ending that cycle. Maybe they're trying to heal that in their life because right underneath that, I get the Ace of Cups. Maybe they're trying to either, let me see what's under that. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, that may change things. <clears throat> hmm. 
In my twin flame readings, the Empress is the Divine Feminine. So maybe what this is telling me, that this could be, a diff the story of this could be your Divine Masculine. What's hidden is that your Divine Masculine is ending a cycle, a toxic cycle with someone, maybe if they have somebody else on their side, could be a job, could be some other issue, but um, is being set free or being released or being let go from a love relationship or so that they can bring you, bring this couple love to you. But you don't know it yet. This is being hidden. If that's the case, this is being hidden. And what this could also mean is, and there's a whole lot of conflict and fighting and arguing and, and ugly words being spoken about, the, oh, there, there it is, y'all. If, if you didn't see my last reading, you need to go back and watch that because there was, especially for those of you dealing with another third person in your relationship. The Queen of Wands came out not once, not twice, not even three times, four times in that reading. And for me, this Queen of Wands is the other woman, the other person, the other, again, it's not about gender. So that to me tells me this person is trying to get free to come bring his cup of love to you. But there's a whole lot of fighting and conflict with this Queen of Wands behind the scene because I think this Queen, of, and it has to do with stability. Either your person or this Queen of Wands, I feel, doesn't want to let go of this king because he's her stability. Yep, I think. So that's somebody from his past or Divine Masculine's past, and they're not wanting to let go of this, and it's affecting your Divine Masculine's. It, it, you know, they're, it, the Wheel of Fortune is when fortune turns against you. And I think maybe their money, now this has affected their money may be bad. Yes. So I'm, I'm going, yeah, well, the Justice and the Magician, this could be somebody, if, if they are married, it could, because Justice is in the reverse. Either they're getting their karma, or this could be the end of a relationship over here that somebody's trying to manifest. Yeah, that could be. That changes everything. See, when you look, when you clarify sometimes, that happens. I'm going to put this right here, because that, to me, is kind of a big deal. Now, let me look and see if there's anything over here I want to look at for you. <clears throat> Yours was just pretty clean and clear. I don't really think I need to clarify this death card, but I'm going to ask anyway. I'm just going to ask. You show us more about this death card because this can be changed. It doesn't have to be an ending. It can be just change, you know, and I think that's what's happening to you. You're creating change in your life where your person seems to be stuck over here. You're, you seem to be in a different place emotionally and mentally. All right, let me see what this is. Yes, I'm just, well, I don't think we need more confirmation than that. So it was an ending. I read it right. The death card, like I said, sometimes it just means change. But when, when there is an ending, there's always a new beginning. Well, that there has to be change. You can't have an ending and a new beginning without change. So it's transformation. But the Ten of Swords tells me, yes, this, as far as you're concerned, this is an ending. And it's putting an end to, you know, th this person over here could have well been a player or now I mean this could be you divine feminine this is on your side but that's not what it reads to me it reads to me like an end you're putting an end to this knight of wands which is a lot of in and out energy again it's commonly thought of as the player card and, and there you go now here's the devil on your side <clears throat> devil devil this knight of wands this player energy has was toxic for you and you and it also restricted you it held you back from moving on you were so disappointed from this yeah the, and there could have been spying that could have been i mean i feel like and i've never gotten this in this off of this card i was thinking about communication because it can be communication certainly what might have happened, you might have gotten news about a marriage. Maybe that's what this was over here. You got news about this person being married. 
or in a committed relationship and it broke your heart. Well, there you go. I can't make that up. I'm glad I was reading the energy right. <clears throat> and it broke your heart. And that's what caused this. Yeah, there. I'm telling you, you can't make this up. Seven of Swords is deception, lying, and cheating. And that's what caused this uh, this disappointing news here. Yep. But you are working on yourself now. And I'm very, very happy and proud of you for doing that. Well, let's see. I think we will just ask. <clears throat> Sum this up for me, Spirit, or give me some advice for my viewers here, please. Let's see. Sum this up and give me some advice for my viewers, please, Spirit. Three cards. <laughs> well, okay. Golly, seriously? <laughs> well, I think this is a message uh, regarding your divine masculine. Now, you could, it could be you. You could feel this way too. This is somebody who doesn't want to walk away <clears throat> from a higher level commitment or marriage. But there's been a breakup. Because if there's been a breakup with a marriage. Now, again, if this is your person and you know they're in a relationship, that could be, you know, that's not what I call advice, but maybe this is just telling us some more of the story. These two cards, either of these two cards can mean marriage or commit or a committed relationship, a higher commitment, something that's considered, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, traditional so the fact that both of these are here but somebody doesn't want to walk away from it and somebody so it, i think it, what it's telling me is your person took too long maybe and whatever they're doing well o over here and you walked away you broke up with them this is to me the lovers in reverse is either somebody either somebody it can be it was originally called the choice so it could also mean couple of because I know there's different people watching here that somebody didn't want to walk away from this marriage and so they caused a breakup it that decision caused a breakup or somebody refused to make a choice no I'm sorry it's in reverse somebody is making a choice about a relationship and so they don't want to walk away from you that could also be Cut the cards. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Now, now the victory card comes out in this deck too. Huh. <clears throat> victory card and the Ace of Cups. Well, those are positive cards. I, I just, I am so skeptical <laughs> with your divine masculine. He's been dragging his feet for so long. I'm going to ask a different question. What is the potential final outcome here for? in the current energies in this twin flame direct what is the uh potential final outcome in this twin flame relationship for my divine feminines let me ask that for my divine feminines because most of you watching are no one more okay <clears throat> potential final outcome here Y'all, please let me know down in the comments if this is resonating with you. And let me know where you're from. I always love knowing what part of the world people are from. Write that in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Mm. <laughs> Have we seen this card before from another deck? I think you're saying it's done. It's over with. It's time to let this go. You're, yeah. This, um, you're tired of this ego and fighting and you're, or one, yeah. Let me see what else is here. Oh, of course. Queen of Wands can't get her out of here. I'm just saying. We've seen that card before too, haven't we? I'm going to take that one. Here, let me just do this. So you can see this better. Okay. I asked for three cards. I got four. Whatever. I still want to see what's under here, too. <sighs> <clears throat> well, 
Well, I hate to be ambiguous, but I think I've got two groups of people here. Some of you don't want this person back. You're ready to put an end to this. You're done. You, you're tired of this carnage because of this Queen of Wands that we talked about over here. <clears throat> you're ready to let go and, and, you know, but maybe somebody, but the other, the other message is your Divine Masculine could have stabbed you in the back, could have caused this ending with you because this Queen of Wands would not let them go. That could also be a part of the message. <clears throat> Yeah, so your king, yes. I think that latter one may be for a large number of you because this ending, which I feel like is applying to you, <clears throat> there's been an end to any collaboration with you that he's trying to get a new perspective. He's holding his cup back. He's not giving his cup. You know, this can be mental instability too with King of Cups in reverse. There is no new beginning in love. Because he's, maybe he's still in his player ways, yeah, or because he was in his player ways. You know, it does, you know, this is just, and y'all are, I don't think you're done healing yet. And again, that Wheel of Fortune is in, the rever is in the reverse, so that means not so good fortune. Somebody's dropping the ball here, and this is a heavy, heavy burden. I think you're looking out at um, distant shores. Well, goodness. <clears throat> I wish I had better news. I wish, <laughs> but I'm just not seeing those real happy, wonderful cards here. I'm just not. One more time, Spirit. Yeah, see, there it is. There's right now, anyway, in this relationship, this could be different next week, but right now, I don't feel either one of you are willing to put the work into this relationship. You're both looking. This can be like wasted efforts like if you a farmer plants seeds in the in the earth and he goes out and you know tomorrow and looks at them and they're not coming up he doesn't scream at them but it does mean in the reverse it can be wasted effort wasted resources so maybe you're both looking back and thinking boy I wasted my time and energy on that person maybe your divine masculine is thinking I wasted my time and energy with this queen over here because it was clearly toxic, but now we have this again. Somebody is letting something toxic go and being, or being released from that. And I see this Queen of Cups as you. Now, I would love to say the Queen of Cups is you, and this is this King of Wands, King and Queen of Wands here. That's pretty obvious. And I'm hoping it means he's being released to come get you, his Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, because he's, he's really you know, making plans and looking out at his distant ships come in, but this is divine timing. So maybe your divine masculine is just waiting for the right time to make a move. But right now, I don't see anything happening per se. I wish I had better news, but maybe, you know, for those of you who are done with this and just <laughs> are done with this and tired of this, you're ready to move on. And I certainly understand that. Well, folks, that's all I have for you today. I very much appreciate you tuning in. And again, I would be grateful if you check out my other playlist, see if there's anything there that appeals to you. And subscribe if you think uh, this content is interesting. I'd love to have you back. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Many blessings. Take care and bye-bye.